the storm of gaining be with you. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker S69 here with another fan made Pokemon game, ROM Hack. This is a ROM Hack from Pokemon Emerald, I believe. This one's called Pokemon Unbound. This one is made by Skelly. Uh, and this one is also. 2022 2023 it's fairly new but it's also a completed game as well and yeah this will be a first look at this game if i enjoy it i may continue it so yeah this will also be part of storm singularity pokemon edition yes i'm making a pokemon edition of storm singularity and i'm going to change it up to where Singularity will start having Let's Plays, so it's not really one-off videos much anymore, but still. Um, as you can see, 2016 to 2022, Skelly Games made Pokemon Unbound. Skelly Games presents... Pokemon Unbound. And the Pokemon silhouette that you're seeing that is Hoopa, I believe. The, the, well, yeah, it's Hoopa. Hoopa's evolved form, or true form, or whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead and check this game out. Hope you guys enjoy. If you do, click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the favorites, and click that subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. Let's go ahead and check this game out, and have some fun. Welcome to Pokemon Unbound. Before you begin playing, please be aware that this is a non-profit fan game. If you paid for this game, reclaim your money immediately. That's right. All fan games are non-profit uh, games. So if you purchased it, you were scammed, and you need to get your money back. That's why most of these game, these fan-made games and, are free. They're, they're made on... They're made from whatever resources they have out of their out of their game or whatever. In the world which you are about to enter, in the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. The world is a big place. Take your time exploring. There is no rush. Speak to people and check things whenever you go, wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. The world and its people are alive. As you grow, they will grow along with you. With that in mind, you are almost ready to enter the Boreas region, but first, choose a character. Ooh, I love the sprites in this. That's the boy, and that's the girl. They look like Pokemon Rangers, or something like that. Okay, so we get to choose boy or girl. I'm going to go boy. Choose a character. Choose a skin tone. Oh, you can choose a skin tone. I'll go with that one. Choose a hair color. You can change your hair! This is cool, dude! I'm going green hair. Use a jacket color. Green jacket, yeah. Choose a trim color. Um... This is not bad, actually. I'll go with that. 
Is this who you'll play as? Yes. Last but not least, what is your name? This game has full character customization. That's pretty cool. In the form of changing the sprite, of course. Your name is Storm, yes. Now, let's determine the best way for you to play the game. Is this your first time playing for Pokemon Unbound? Yes, it is. Are you using the Eclipse, GP, Pimu, John GBA, or no GBA emulators? No. Do you, forget, do you forget to save often? No. Do you enjoy cha challenging puzzles? This includes puzzles ranging from stealth puzzles to boulder puzzles. Yes. The game's puzzle difficulty has been set to challenging. If you change it at any point using the options menu, be sure to leave the area for the changes to take effect. Do you know about the common type matchups, such as fairy type being weak to the poison type? Yes. Do you know the types of major majority of Pokemon, such as Bliscor being ground and flying type? Yes. Are you looking for a casual gameplay experience without worrying too much about battles? Yes. Vanilla is the recommended difficulty for you. While you are allowed to pick a higher difficulty, doing so may harm your gameplay experience. Okay, are you okay to ch continue with the vanilla difficulty? Yes. The game's dif difficulty has been set to vanilla. Feel free to switch between vanilla and difficult at any point using the options menu. Long ago, the Boreas region was engulfed by a great war with a foreign land. It was a brutal war, one which lasted many years. During that time, the enemy managed to seize the upper hand. On the brink of defeat, the Borean king summoned a dark force to help. Turn the tides of battle. The foreign army's advan advantage was lost almost instantly. As soon as it entered the battlefield, the Dark Horse used its power to create portals and transport the invading army back home. With the foreign army gone, the war seemed at an end for Boreans. However, their king, overcome by the lust for power, his lust for power, sent the Borean army through the portals as well. The war continued to rage in the foreign land for several years. Many more men and Pokemon were conscripted to fight and inevitably met their end on the battlefield. One such Pokemon having been a dear friend of the enemy king. Overcome with grief, the king built a device to restore its life, granting himself immortality in the process. But this traumatic event left him scarred and filled with anger. Unable to forgive the world that had hurt his precious Pokemon, he turned his machine into a giant weapon, the ultimate weapon. The king became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. With the war over, what little remained of the Borean army returned home. The king's Pokemon left him, and the battlefield became silent. Yet, peace was still to come. Enraged over the fruitless war, but survivors of the war wished for ample compensation from the Borean king. When he had nothing to offer them, they began to manipulate the Dark Horse to attack the Borean Kingdom in an attempt coup. In an effort to stop the madness, the Borean King gathered the legendary Pokemon. Articuno, Zapdos, 
Mole traps. Using the power of the three birds, a prison was created for the dark force, sealing its power. It became a shadow of its former self. Stripped of its power, it was taken by, in by the king and supervised by his progeny until one fateful day, 16 years ago. I worry, old friend, for the future, for if no, when she arrives, I won't be able to protect you if she tries something. No, she will try something. It's a matter of what it would, will be. That's why, my friend, you must go into hiding. I'll send your Pokeball adrift amidst the waves. You'll surely be safer lost at sea than if you were to remain with me. If I'm wrong and nothing happens, I'll call you back. But if this is to be your final time together, protect my son if he is ever in danger. And in turn, should the wrong sort try to force your true power free, then trust him to protect you. Farewell, my good friend. It's gone. So, you came after all. Let's get this over with. Fifteen years later. Arg! How can I fulfill Grandpa's wish if I cannot catch a single Pokemon? I promised him, I promised I would finish the war, but right now, I cannot even begin to fathom the possibility. Whatever should I do? A Pokeball? Here? Now? This Pokemon, it can't be! Who? But, ha ha ha, it appears Grandpapa here, there may be a way after all. It is time for destruction to engulf the land and for the eternal flower to bloom once again. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh no! Pokemon Unbound! Present Day! What the? How did you get in here? Quick, scientist, what are you standing around for? Grab him! Now, knock him out and lock him up for the, in the warehouse. Seth is going to freak out when he hears about this. He is unconscious. Hoopa! Stop! Have I not told you countless times to stay out of my cube space? Unless you have expressed permission. I am aware you cannot travel through your rings anymore, but that does not give you the right to disobey me. And were you the one responsible for bringing him here? I do not know what you wanted for him, him for, but you have been a repeated nuisance ever since I found you on that beach last year. I may not be your true guardian, but I am your trainer now. And as your trainer, I order you to cease these immature antics of yours now. What a father. Wait. 
Now that I think about it, I could work with this. Huh? Where am I? I already got the running shoes. Okay. Who's that guy with red hair? The door requires a key card with clearance level 2 to be open. What's this? Hey, who do you think you are? Do you think you can get away with keeping me locked up in here? You'd better let me go. Let me through right now or you're gonna feel my wrath. Back off, kid. I'm under strict orders to keep you locked up. So scram unless you want to feel my wrath. Smart choice. Keep it far away from this door and you won't regret it. Huh? Who are you? Pretty sure I was by myself when they threw me in here. Storm, huh? And you're saying you got sucked in here by a magic portal? That's pretty dramatic entrance. Hey, those clothes. You live in Frozen Heights? I just moved in, but I guess I never stopped by to say hi. Say, how about we buddy up and look for a way out together? The door back there is a bus with that guard in the way. Oh yeah, I guess I should introduce myself, partner. My name is... Rival! Who wants to be my rival? Let's see. I'll call you Star. And fits. Does it fit? Yeah, it fits. How did you do that? There you go. His name is Starman? Yes. Yay, my name's Starman. I'm looking for my parents, and I thought things people would have a lead on them. And well, you can see they hate it when people go snooping. Anyway, we better start looking for another exit. So let's move. What's this? Start found a potion. Item sector. Okay. Did you hear that storm? It sounded like some Pokemon are trapped in that cage over there. Let's go check it out. The lock appears fragile. Break it? Yes. The cage door swung open. It looks like these Pokemon are grateful and want to join us. If we take one and put them in these Pokeballs I, I picked up, we can use them to attack the guard and escape. So, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, choose a Pokemon. So we got a choice here. Gibble. Lavatar, which will end up with Tyranitar, and then Velda, which will end up with Metagross later on down the road. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with Velda. The Velda joins Storm's party. It has the lonely nature. Do you want to give a name, nickname to Velda? I'll call you Law. Actually, I'll call you Tank. Tank. Because it, it'll turn into a walking tank later on. Actually... Ed... Two, oh, nine. 
Ed 209. If you don't know that reference, that's for a Robocop. I'll take this one then. Why'd you do that? Good going, idiot. Lovatar! You idiot! Just parted the Lovatar left. Now that we have our own Pokemon, let's head back to the exit. We'll force our way out of here. Let's check the Poke. Ooh, look at this. So, Poke Pokemon list, cube, box, whatever that is. Save game, Storm's uh, ID card, and then the game setting. Let's look at the game setting. Oh. Game setting. Auto run is on. Save prompt. I'm going to put easy puzzle. HM's on. I'll choose the white. Yeah, that's cool. All Pokemon in the party gain experience. So it, you, that's pretty cool. Overworld theme. Okay. In the in order for the changes to to the puzzle difficulty to take effect, you may need to leave and come back to the current area. Let's go ahead and save the game. What do you think about this game so far, guys? Okay, we were going this way. Wait, there's something over there. Um, what is over here? There's a Pokeball over here. Another potion. I told you before. I'm under strict orders to keep you locked up. Hehehe. <laughs> you don't really have a choice anymore. You're gonna let us out or get your sorry butt handed to you. Quit fooling yourself. There's nothing you can do to make me let you through. Thor, let's team up and show this guy what we can do. You both are really starting to get on my nerves. NK, score a pie. Show them why you don't mess with the shadows. Oh, there's going to be shadow Pokemon in this game, isn't there? Oh boy. That is Team Shadow, by the way. Metal Bash. So we start at level 10 in this game. Yeah, the intro to the game was rather long, but it was worth reading though. It's like a storybook. Ooh, clear body. Nice. You got the clear body ability. Hope you like the layout I made as well. Now to get in focus mode.
Why'd you do that? I knew it was a bad idea to lock them up in here. No, my Pokemon! Not bad, Storm. You and I make a great, pretty good team. But I'll take it from here. Let me use these items on your Pokemon to heal it from the fight. Gibble, use Metal Claw! Gibble! Alright, alright, I give up! I'll let you through! Please have mercy on me! Don't hurt me anymore, please! Gibble, return! Mike, I'm getting out of here now, Storm. I'm sure you'll, you're capable of taking care of yourself from here on out. If you run into any trouble, just use your Pokemon. Oh, one more thing. As soon as you get home, we're going to battle. You impressed me when we battled together, so I want to see how I'll fare against you. Until then, don't tire yourself out too much. He just came out of nowhere! Whipped out in an instant! This guy with red hair just came out of nowhere and knocked out all of my Pokemon before I even had a chance to react! Now I can't even stop you from escaping! Now burn it! Burn it! Burn it! As you observe, these specimens are completely immune to extreme cold and extreme heat. What about the immunity to electricity? We have yet to complete that, sir. It is difficult to enhance the specimens quickly when we have our internal research as well. Very well, this will do for now. Ah, Marlin, perfect timing. We, we're moving up our timetable. I'm uh, unsure as to why, but our target seems to have relocated to our vicinity earlier than anticipated. With the Shadow Warriors enhanced, and the package we need arriving today, we can begin the operations. Understood. There's just one more thing to discuss before I head out. The tre trespassers we locked up in the warehouse have escaped. This grunt over here let them get away. How bad is it? What did those two see? The first one, the boy with the red hair, saw nothing relevant. The second one, however, if Faye finds out that he was in the lab, she will insist on relocating in the middle of our operation. You know that's time and resources we can't afford. Then make sure Faye doesn't find out about what happened. Our priority right now is obtaining the package needed for the mission. We'll deal with that second one who escaped at a later time. Understood. I have a plan to obtain that package, and it's even allowed this failure of a grunt here to redeem himself. Once I have it, I'll head straight for the target. Then good luck, Marlin. Close. We're getting so close. Soon it won't be long before that power finally becomes ours. The door has been forced shut behind you. How did you do that? Storm, you finally made it out. Have you met Old Man Log yet? He's supposed to be an expert on Pokemon stats or whatever. I just fi filed, filled him in on what happened. I study all aspects of Pokemon stats and capture rates. And my title is Professor, not Old Man. Anyway, 
that must have been quite the ordeal you both went through. I'm relieved to see both of you are unharmed. And it seems you've even managed to acquire rare Pokemon. I was planning on giving Starman a Pokemon of his own someday, but now I don't have to. Ho, ho, ho. Someday? I've been here a whole week, and I was expecting one ASAP. Well, of course I was always going to give you one, Starman. There are plenty of errands I'm too old to run myself, after all. It's just that you're insistent on looking for your parents. I keep telling you, no one has seen them in years. Even if they are somehow still in Boreas, finding them is too much big a task for you alone. I was hoping you'd accept the, that before giving you a Pokemon, but you refuse to listen. You may be my legal guardian or whatever in Boreas, but you sure don't know anything about me. I'm strong, strong enough to fend for myself. And when I see my parents, they'll see just how strong I really am. Just like you're about to. Come on, Storm. I said I'd owe you a battle before, so let me show you how, both how a real trainer does it. You are challenged by Rival Starman. Send out Gibble. Metal Bash. So far, I'm enjoying this game. What about you guys? Starman, the Demi Fire, D Winter, and Rocky. You should give this game a try if you could. What do you think about this game, uh, guys? I'm really enjoying it. And we got level 11. You defeated Rival Starman. What? I... I lost? That was a fine battle. Very enthralling. If I do say so myself. Tch. No one cares how it made you feel, old man. I only care about how strong it made our Pokemon. Well... <clears throat> from what I can see, your Pokemon do have some nice stats. I see potential for them to become strong Pokemon someday. Finally, the first useful thing you've said all day. And it's gonna be the last because it's I'm out of here. Well, he's certainly a handful, isn't he? And now that he's gone, who will run my errands for me? Ah, yes, Storm. You seem rather capable. You should insist, assist me. Ah, what a splendid idea. Your father was well known for helping others after all. It's only fitting that his son would follow in his footsteps. As for the task, there's a package in Bell in town at the Pokemart. I would go get it myself, but my assistants and I are much too busy with our own research. Don't fret, the clerk knows someone will be picking it up in my stead. Since you have your own Pokemon with you, it should be easy. But just in case, this repellent will make the jersey journey easier for you. We got some repel. And, and while you're at it, you could assist me with another task. A fellow Professor Oak asked me to give these to young trainers. It's an encyclopedia for recording the data of Pokemon. Apparently, Boreas has plenty of Pokemon his own region lacks. We received the Pokedex. Personally, I'm con content with just observing species for the Pokedex. However, if you want 
complete data on Pokemon, including their base stats, you'll need to catch them. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. We got five Pokeballs. If you're not in the mood for catching Pokemon, use the repel I gave you to keep them away. If you need anything else from me, I'll be in my lab. But before you depart, you should head home and inform your mother. She's been very worried about you. Good luck, Storm. My studies are depending on you. What's this house? Star Starman's residence. And down here. Log Pokemon Research Lab. Over here. Oh. Storm! What are you doing? I told you to check in with your mother. Don't look at me like that. Didn't your mother ever teach you to listen to your elders? Go see her. That's what I'm just looking for. Looking for the house. There is something irresistible about that sign. Trainer tips. Don't walk away from this, these signs until you've read them completely. Every single one contains important information that will help you out during your adventure. Skipping text on these signs will likely cost you. What a great read. Storm's Residence. Hey! Matching hair, nice. Storm, where have you been? I was really worried about you. Wow, that sounds awfully frightening. I'm really glad you're safe now. Before you do anything else, you should take a nice long rest. Don't you feel much better now, sweetie? Now, you've got the energy to run Professor Log's errand for, me, for him. Sniff, I always knew that the day would come when you would help leave home. It said so on TV. If only your father could see you now. He'd be so proud. Well, if you're going to run errands for Pre Professor Log, you'll need this. We got the Super Cubes Mission Log component from Mop. That's a Mission Log function for your Super Cube. It keeps track of anything you've been asked to do. To use it, just open it up from the start menu. And now that you have one, why don't we ha keep, have it keep a record of Professor Log's request for you? Get Professor Log's package from the Bellin Town Mart. Oh, and before I forget, you left a key component in your super cube on the floor of your room. I know it wasn't necessary before, but now that you have your very own Pokemon, you'll need it if you want to use those stat boosting items in battle. Super Cube Battle Component for Mom. For Mom, just in case you've forgotten, the Super Cube acts just like a bag, but unlike those cheap bags from Pokemart that can only hold 42 items, the Super Cube or as it's more commonly known, the cube has an infinite amount of space. It works by digitizing the item's data put into it. So essentially, it's like you're carrying nothing extra at all. And not only that, you can even automatically sort the cube by pressing start. Isn't that convenient? Of course, if you still think the cube is a little cluttered, even after sorting, just use L and R to move through it quickly. Oh, and you can even use it to store this parting gift I prepared. A costume box. That's a costume box. You can use it to change clothes at any point in your journey. I filled it with different colors for you to choose from, but if you find more outfits, make sure you store them in there as well. Stay safe out there, honey. Bring Professor Logg's package. That was a lot to read. Let's check this. 
Storm booted up the PC. Is there anything in there? Yes, there's a berry juice in there. Let's get that. And there's a wheat here. He's a Storm played with the Wii. Okay, it's time to go. Sorry, fella. An avalanche caused some snow piles to gather up on the road. If you want to go to Belen, you'll have to take the old mountain road for now. Here, come with me and I'll show you the way. Thank you! Alright, I will be right back. I'm going to do some grinding. I see some grass right there. All right, I'm done grinding. By the way, I did capture a, a second Pokemon, by the way. We'll show you now. Say hello to Ice Cream. Vanillite. It's the Ice Cream Pokemon. Naughty nature. Got the snow cloak ability, ups, invasion, and hail. Those are its moves it has. And it's also a female. Ed 209 doesn't have a gender, so it's a robot, so yeah. Lonely nature met in the shadow base at level 10. It's got the clear body ability, prevents stat reduction. And those were its moves it has. And it got him to got Ed 209 to level 14. And Ed 209 al already has Flash. Let's look at the ID card. Okay, there is gym badges in this game. That's pretty cool. Plus missions. And there's a there's the mission log that it was that we got from before. A hero's journey. This is the cube. It holds infinite amount of items, by the way. It's better than the bag. That's what they said, anyways. They gave us a costume box. You're able to change clothes or the the color of your clothes. That's pretty cool. Of course, we got the Pokedex. All right. What's this? Oh, we got a wild Pokemon over here. It's a deli bird. We do have the experience share turned on, by the way. Yeah, in this game, you can actually turn it on. What is this? Ah, you must be Storm. Professor Log phoned ahead and told me to guide you if you got lost. Bellantown is just over that way. Bellantown. Route 1. If you'd like me to show you how to capture a Pokemon, prove you're capable by delivering Professor Log's package to him. Okay, let's do that. If we can find it. What is it? Ooh. It's a Pokemon Center.
We're looking for the po There it is. Pokemart. You! Uh, I mean, excuse me. Hi there, may I help you? Wait, you're telling me Professor Log sent you to get his package? Uh-oh, I thought they that guy smelled fishy. Here's the deal, kid. I already gave the package to the man who was just here. But if you want to blame anyone for this mix-up, blame Professor Log. I told him he needed to tell me who he'd be, be sending, but he just kept saying, Someone will get it. There's nothing I can do for you at this point, but maybe if you chase that man after that man, you can catch him before he gets too far. Mission objective updated. Follow the man who stole Professor Log's package. Did you receive the package from Bart? Yes, I did, sir. Where were you discreet in doing so? I was, sir. I even ran into one of the two I let escape from the warehouse, but I chose to avoid a confrontation. As far as I'm aware, I wasn't followed. Good work. I'd say I say you're back on the road to earning whatever you asked for when you joined us. It was a me mechanical leg for my mother, sir. Legs, arms, another head, whatever. As long as this package contains all of the goods that we need for the operation, the scientists will fill as many limbs as your mom wants. I'm heading north of Frozen Heights to capture the target. Report back to Zeph and inform him of my current status. Yes, sir. Search for Marlin and recover Professor Log's package. Oh boy. Ah, you must be Storm. Professor Log phoned ahead and told me to guide you if and he's just saying the same thing over and over again. Yeah, you didn't see the guy ran this way? What? Some scary looking fellow came along and melted the snow piles blocking the road. I was sure, I sure was happy and all, but something seemed up with him. If you care, I, I watched him head north of Frozen Heights. Wonder what he's doing up there. Oh, I gotta inform him. Please get my package from the Bell and Town Pokemart store. I need it, and only you can get it. Well, with what I'm seeing, the package got stolen, and now we gotta retrieve it. Oh, what's this? Cacnea, use cut! Cac. What with the wind, what with the snow, a heart that is frozen in an absolute zero, now become the snow that drives the heart, heart, harshest blizzard. Sun. Sanker, Blimbolterper, descend to me, Articuno, Shadow Warrior, restrain it! 
Now, Articuno, it's time for you to become ours. The operation was a success. Time to report back to Seth. You, I recognize you from the lab. I'd have thought you'd imprisonment, however brief, would have taught me better. You just enjoy being locked up, or did someone send you? Oh no, we don't have time to deal with you now. But regardless, we can't have you pursuing us any further. Right! One of you stall him! Who do you think you are, huh? Do you think you can just follow us and get away with it? Don't expect any mercy from the shadows. You are challenged by Shadow Grunt. No run. I'm liking this so far, guys. This is exciting. Level 15. Shadow Grant defeated. Squeal! Oh, you wanted this package? Here, you can have it. We've taken what we needed from it. Got the personal. You'd be smart not to follow us again. Get out of the way, dude. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, Storm, you returned with my package. Storm delivered the personal. Now, let me check if they sent what they were supposed to. Now, research, equi not new research equipment, check. The latest in Pokemon science, check. Huh? Where are the Master Balls? Did you open the package and take anything from it, Storm? Uh, I see. You recovered my package from some thugs. And they must have taken the Master Balls. What? You saw them use one to capture Articuno? Hmm. If I'm correct, we could be in grave danger. I have one more errand for you to run, Storm. An old friend of mine lives in Dresco Town. He has a vast knowledge of Varian history. I need you to tell him everything that has transpired thus far. I have a theory about what is going on, and I, but I need him to confirm it. You have your own Pokemon now, so this shouldn't be too difficult. You can get to Dresco Town by going through Icicle Cave. Ah, silly me. How can I expect you to find Icicle Cave if you don't know the way? This town map should, should aid you immensely. We got the town map. Now, let's take a look at the town map, shall we? Frozen Heights. Dresco Town. Did you notice the yellow X over Dresco Town? That marker will automatically move when you have a new destination. And you know what? Now that you have your own mission log, allow me to record my request from early. First, you should aim to see every Pokemon in the Bore Boreas Pokedex, or as it's more commonly known, the West Be Boreas Pokedex. Pokemon that only appear in East Boreas are conspic conspicuously left out. It's, an, it's a daunting task. See all Pokemon in West Boreas and report back to Professor Log. Once you've completed that task, aim to capture every Pokemon listed in the Pokedex. Ho, ho, ho. As they used to say, you've got to catch them all. Travel around and Capture every Pokemon you can. Gotta catch them all. Yeah, Pokemon. Additionally, 
My younger sister, Natasha Log, lives in Blizzard City. If you ever meet her, she can upgrade your Pokedex and make it easier for you to encounter Pokemon you are looking for. Oh, my memory seems to be going. I have one more thing to give you. Please, the next time you see Starman, give him this Pokedex. He's been rather cold to me ever since he arrived here, but he seems to get along fine with you. I'm sure if you give him the Pokedex, he'd be willing to assist. Go to Icicle Cave and deliver Starman's Pokedex to him. Alright, so we're going to save it here. However, I am enjoying this game, so I may record more of this. And make a playlist for it and everything. I'm enjoying this game so much that it's driving me to want to do more of this game and see more of, more of what's going to happen in this. Like I said, this game is fully completed that I found on the website. It says it's completed all the way. There's a lot of content in this and everything. And again, this is called Pokemon Unbound for the GBA. This is a ROM hack friend fan-made game out of Pokemon Emerald. And again, hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you did, click the like button, comment below, share with your friends, add the parents, and click that subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. I'm Stormstriker S69, and I will see you guys next time.